Hello, my friends. I have decided to challenge myself with a final wine pour, pouring the wine of wines, champagne. So it has the potential to be a very elegant pour, I think. So I, I hope it will work out, though. My colors are one by Modern Masters that is actually called Champagne. Beautiful. Um, another Modern Masters called Oyster. Lovely. They're all metallics. And Deco Art Matte Metallic in Ivory Pearl. It's very similar in, in color and value to this one, but it's a little, um, well, this one is a little warmer, I would say, than this one. And lastly, because I'm, I'm just afraid those aren't enough contrast, I have mixed some gold. Art Mines Classic Gold. And I'm going to be applying them to the canvas from dark to light. That will be the order. Because this one is a semi-opaque. And I'm hoping it will kind of make a just a nice sheer layer over these other colors and um, give some good effects. So, about to do that. Now, I tried a little experiment with the Artist Loft White, which, as you know, we're having problems with it selling up. And I mixed up a big cup of it and left it to sit for 24 hours. And then I did this as an experiment and the cells are a little bit smaller. So, I think. This is a small piece though, so uh, it's hard to say. But maybe that there's something to that, I don't know. Now this one I did not mix up ahead of time. I just did it just now. And we'll see what we get. Although champagne is bubbly, so the cells won't bother me if we get a lot of them. So let's get to it. As always, the recipe I use, the exact ratios are down below in the description box. I'm using a 2021 bottle, and they've now labeled it soft acrylics, I think, right? Soft body. All right. Let's see if that's enough. I can see a lot of a lot of air bubbles in it. I'm getting a little tired of Dutch pours, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Between my wine pours and the Iris series. That's all I've been doing lately, so um, this might be the end of it for a while. But I'm sure I'll get back to them because I do love the, the look. And in fact, um, I'll probably do one more after this with the leftovers. I won't be using all of this paint, and I thought it might be fun to see how it looks on a black background. So the next video will, will be the last one for a while. People do view the Dutch pour videos the most, though, so I know they're very popular. Not, I mean, not just mine, everybody's Dutch pours are the thing. But I think there are a lot of other techniques that are certainly worthy of watching, and I hope you will check them out as well. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to start with the short end, kind of come down here, like that, I think. This is the champagne color.
I always get a little skimpier as I end it. I'll start over this side this time. This is the, um, oh, what is it? The um, deco art, something or other. And now the Modern Masters in Oyster. Okay, I think that's a sufficient amount. Yeah, I've got plenty of paint left over, so I'll definitely be trying out a black background. Okay, here we go. Dryer is set on high and cool. this. I like this area. That's okay, but this I do not like. What am I going to do? It was just the way I blew it out. It's not really the colors. The colors are okay. Hmm. I have to scrape that off, I think. Oh, why is it? It's never easy. What is my husband? Can you hear him? Talking to the dogs there. All right. Um, yep, that's going to go away. And thankfully, I have more of the base coat. Now what do I do? Maybe I like that. I wonder what would happen if I just kind of tilt it this way. I like this area though, and I'm oh, I think I'm okay with that. I can't tell what color it is that I, I like in there, so I, otherwise I might add some more. Let me just try tilting it initially. I almost think I'm okay with that edge now. But uh, do I need to... Okay, I'm good. I like that, actually, and I love this area. Now, this is a little questionable right there. I think I'm going to blow that out that way. Or maybe this way. Oh, I don't know. I'm doing it though. Here we go.
I think I like it. I think I like it. I don't know that you can appreciate the colors on video, you know, um, metallics just don't always show up that well right now, but I think when it dries, it will be really lovely. I will um, uh, varnish it and show you on a future video, but let me bring you in. Yeah, you can't you can't appreciate how shimmery it is, but you all have worked with metallics, so you know. You can guess how lovely it looks in person. I kind of like the unusual composition. I have to say that because I've done it. <laughs> Made a weird decision there, but I, I kind of like it. So, woo, there you have it. Let me know what you think, and stay tuned. Uh, the next video will use the same colors on a black background, and I think it should be quite striking. Thanks for watching, my friends. <laughs> well, after watching the video back myself, I discovered two things. Number one, you can see that I'm still wearing my pajamas. How embarrassing. And secondly, I don't care for this area here. There's too much of a right angle there. So I'm going to scrape part of it. I'm going to reshape that. So here we go. Okay. much more graceful look. Maybe I don't have to add paint. Maybe I can... Oh, I better. It's my pajamas! I'm happier with that. Much more organic feel now. I'll just tilt it a little bit to kind of settle it in. There. I think it's an improvement. All right. There you go, my friends. I'm really done this time. <laughs> Thanks for watching.